So to get started here, you want to make sure you're signed in to your Twitch account. And we're just going to go to the top right hand corner over here to where you see video producer. Once you see video producer, go ahead and hit that. And we're going to go to that page. As you can see, I only have three past broadcasts going on right now. I'm actually just getting back into streaming on Twitch. If you are interested in checking me out, you can check me out at Hey Shayway on Twitch. I'd love to have you stop by for a stream sometime. But for this video, let's go ahead and get into it. So I want to upload this Fortify and Crush uh, past broadcast that I had today, and I want to upload that to YouTube. Only thing you have to do is hit export here, and that's going to export directly to YouTube. Now, in order for this button to work though, we have to make sure that you have your YouTube account attached to your Twitch. So the way you can verify that is over here. We're going to go back to account settings, and then we're going to go over here to connections. Under connections, you're going to see an option available for YouTube, and you'll click connect here and then sign in with your YouTube account. Now, when you go back to the video producer section and you were to click export, I'm going to do it with this old one here just to kind of show you. I'm going to click the export button. It's going to bring up this little dialog box where you can put in the title of the video you'd like, the description, as well as tags such as the game and whatever else, as well as the visibility. I highly suggest uploading to private. That way you can go on and actually change what is the description and fill out some more information about the video before it goes live. You can also, if it's a longer stream and you want to split it up, instead of doing one huge long video, you could split these up into 15 minute segments, which is really cool. Something to think about too is you kind of have to use 15 minute videos if you have a non-verified YouTube account, though it is very easy to verify your YouTube account. So if you have any questions about that, make a comment down below and I'll make sure to make a video on that as well. So we're just gonna do a little test here. We'll call this testing for a video. Description is blah, blah, blah. And for the tags, we'll just do Twitch, gaming, and then Shayway. And then we're gonna hit start export. So you're not gonna see a confirmation or anything, which is a little interesting. I wish they would do something else, but we can actually go to YouTube now and kind of see what this looks like. So I'm signed in on the YouTube account right now. And what we're gonna do is go over here to these top right hand corner and go to YouTube studio. And then once you get to this page, we're gonna go to content on the left bar over here. And what you'll see is it's actually processing. So the top video here is testing for a video. If we actually click into that, you can see it has the description that I put as well as it tags this watch live at twitch.tv slash Shayway. Hey Shayway. As well as down here, we can look at the recommended tags, which it shows all these tags that I added. Depending on how long the video is, it could take a little bit of time for it to upload and actually process. So I would say give it a few hours uh, before you start trying to troubleshoot why it's not uploading. So guys, I hope this was beneficial for you. If you'd like to learn some more tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm posting all different types of tech content on a pretty much twice a week basis now, whether it be tech news or how-to videos or just little things that I think are interesting. So thanks for checking out the channel, guys. My name is Shayway, and we'll see you next time on Shayway Tech.